shell and forces the police how to get off an ambush situation. So we're going to start at the far end of the arena, build up the speed backwards, try and get as fast as we can backwards, spin the car to 180 degrees and hopefully stop before this barrier. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I noticed when the, when the grandstand started filling up, it was from the back. So you've seen it before, haven't you? All right. Right, the J-turn then. So let's give this a go. Just for added spice, we've got a couple of rather nice, shiny, fresh out of the press garage cars. Yes. So this is an absolutely standard Ford Focus ST. And Paul will be uh, selecting reverse gear, and the J-turn, you need speed for this to get the car to really move. So we're looking at hitting about 40 miles an hour. So are we ready? Here we go then. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul Swift and the J-turn. Reverse gear, foot hard down, turbo sitting fully. And at 40 miles an hour, he will flip the car around from between the two stationary cars. Excellent. Very good indeed. Nicely done. However, what we're looking at here is hardly a limo. I mean, it wasn't exactly a big gap, was it? We want to see a smaller gap? Do we want to see a smaller gap? Yes. How do you cheer the smaller the gap gets? Excellent. That's what I like to say. That's what he tells his girlfriend. Here we go. Let's move the car over to it. Spaces there. I think two would be more than enough. Let's see. All right, let's give him two and a bit. We've only rehearsed this one, so here we go. Again, full speed, absolutely flat out in reverse. Good stuff. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Swift. Impressive stuff, my friend. I can't hear you. Yeah. Okay, let's go one more. Let's go one more. Go on then, Ted. One more. Yeah. Right, what's this? Hey, I've come to see a show. I think they might have come to the right place as well. Seatbelt on. Again, standard seatbelt. No racing seats, no six point harness. Because we are talking here about a highly trained professional. Right. See what he can produce here. Oh, you got a better view of this, so get the cameras out. Here we go, ready for Lining himself up. Just as you can probably imagine. Here we go then! If he's wrong by a couple of inches, it all gets quite dodgy. Here we go! I see that! And that is turning the car around in its own lane. Yes, yeah, stop shaking. That's <laughs> not supposed to be the but I introduced you as the professional. Excellent. So that's, that is absolutely your basic stuntman technique. Every car chase you've ever seen has got that in. But it's not exactly kind of road friendly, yeah. It's not your everyday manoeuvre. The, the next minute we're going to do is a bit more, um, the sort of thing that comes in quite more um, commonly. So we're going to go to the far end of the arena this time. We're going to do it forwards. Um, maybe second gear, handbrake the car, and then um, yeah, this is sort of thing if you try to beat that little old lady in the final parking space in Sainsbury's, this one normally gets it for me. I want to know why Paul goes shopping on his own, I think mean, I'm just about to find out. Alright, so he's going to find himself a nice handy parking space. Poor little old lady is coming. Bless her. And the race is on for the final space in the car park. So let's see what he can produce here. Now second gear, which means we're getting closer to 50 miles an hour when he's thinking about parking. Oh, hang on a minute, he's having a longer run up. Excellent, are you ready? All right, here we go. So this will be Paul Swift, late for work. Trying to beat the little old lady into the car park. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad, but... Mate, you've taken two spaces. That is proper holiday parking. I thought you were a professional. I didn't know you were a billy. What do you think? You want more? Oh, come on. You, you, one space or the other. Make your mind up. You've got to choose one or the other. 
Mark? <laughs> these poor guys have to sit in these cars. I think you have to convince them. <laughs> Come on, then. No, what? You know, there's hardly any tire marks here at all. It, it'll be fine, don't you worry. Right, so we get a, a, a relatively sensible sized car parking space, I think. There we go. So you can't choose that one. You definitely can't choose that one. One car parking space, second gear, 50 miles an hour. That insurance quote came through. Excellent. Okay, here we go. For the final time then, Paul Swift is going to reverse park his Focus ST. And nice enough. Was that close? Mark did this just then. I don't know what that means, but... That was quite close. I think we've still got a bit more room to play with, don't you? Are you kidding me? Really? You want to see this? You're a bloodthirsty lot. Have you guys come to see a show? Yeah! Let's bring it in tight. All right, let's bring it in tighter. Uh, okay. Right, right to here. Park in this space. Okay, here we go. Now bear in mind that he's getting a car that is wider than one parking space into one parking space while it's still sideways. Right. <laughs> well, Mark is occupying his space. Tim is occupying his space in the other car. Are you ready? Are we ready? Yeah! Yes! The crowd are ready. Mark's ready. Okay, here we go. First, second gear, flat out, Hamley! This is fantastic stuff, and I, I know the Focus ST is a stunning car, but well, what else do you have to do to these to be able to do these stunts? Uh, this genuinely is an absolutely standard car. All we've done is uh, pop up the tyre pressure a little bit and taken the ABS fuse out so we can skid the front tyres. But apart from that, she's absolutely standard. So standard seats, no roll cage. No, no roll cage. <laughs> no need for a roll cage. In the hands of professionals. And we're now going to go to the hands of professionals again, but we won't be needing you for this, because actually this is Tim's show now, he's taken over. So, can you just come park over here for me? Just, come on, oh, stop looking so downcast. Come on, let the stars have a go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know a lot of you will be very much aware of the new technology that's coming on stream in the four products. Available already in Focus, in C-Max, and in the gorgeous all-new Cougar, automatic park assist technology. <laughs> Okay, I'll do. Thank you. Come, come with me and watch the professionals in action. What we've got here is the star of our show, Tim, in the all-new Cougar. And he is going to show you exactly what the technology that is available on your products now can do. So, late home from work, finally he's found a parking space. The Cougar's already identified that the space is big enough to get into. Tim indicates to his right, and then gets down with his bad self. Because he's a bit of an old disco freak at heart. Cars in reverse. And then in forward. And that is magic. And that's the kind of magic that you're producing for your cars now. So, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean... Anyone can park now. I could do that. Of course you could. I, like I said, anyone I could do that, and I can't drive. I could do it in this car in two seconds. We can't do that car because it hasn't got automatic park assist technology. If you put Tim there, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> right. Up for a challenge then, okay. Well, we see him park backwards. Are we going to see him park parallel? Here we go, okay. Back in the car. Tim, come back, come back, come back. Come by. Come by. <laughs> Lovely. Right, that's where the Cougar parked itself. 
Not here. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so Mr. Smarty Pants himself, Paul Swift, is now going to show you the Paul Swift School of Parking Assist Technology. I'm going to be standing here casually behind this very substantial car. Okay, you ready? Here we go. is not bad at all. Well, that's pretty straight as well. Well, there is here. Yeah, oh, right, yes, you take in two spaces, but you do that normally, don't you? Does anybody see that get closer? I think we can see that getting closer. Come on, then. Closer. All right. Keep clapping until you're sufficiently glad that the gap is small enough. Come on, then. Mark's quite as keen as he might be. Come on, Mark. Come on, Mark. Come on, Mark. The boys and girls have come to see a show, Mark. That's enough. You're happy with that? You're not happy with that? No, I don't blame you either. Oh, do you want me to see you out? Hang on a minute. Yep. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Oh. Off you go. Very good. Okay, so the Cougar, of course, can park itself in its own length plus 20%, so maybe up to the windscreen extra space it would need. Let's see what Paul can do. Are we ready? Here we go then. For the second time of asking, Paul Swift will park himself. Now that is impressive. That is impressive. You're right, it does only take you two seconds. What do you think, guys? Well, it is a bit more than 20% longer than the car, isn't it? One more? I don't let these guys decide. Oh no, I don't. Really? Yes. Yeah, a bit smaller? Let's risk it. We'll risk <laughs> Spoken like a trooper. There might be a rebellion in the ranks. Here we go. Pick up, pick up. Yes. Yes. Come on, we're going to go for the show. Come on. Mark's been with, uh, with the show a long time. <laughs> right, so what we've got here, 13 or 14 inches. Actually, could somebody come and get the car out? That would be very handy indeed. That is not bad. If you got into a gap outside the shops like that, you'd be very pleased with yourself. Not worried about the front. <laughs> you tell they're not his own cars, can't you? Well, this went fine in rehearsals. Of course, in rehearsals, you don't push the gaps quite as... You're out? Lovely. Okay, Mark. Yep. You're getting... <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Right. In the length of this Ford Focus, plus maximum of 20%. Here we go! Let's hear it! Oh, hang on. What's going on? Oh, come on! Oh, what's... No, this doesn't happen in rehearsal. I'm not doing it unless he sits in that car. Come on, Mark. You ruined the show for the ladies and gentlemen, the boys and girls. Come on! Sorry, we're going to sit in. Come on! You may be needing that later. <laughs> Pay attention. You won't get it. <laughs> That's one thing the wind has beaten you to. Here we go. See, it's raining itself up and everything. Here we go. Right. 
So this will give him a good idea of what the wind direction is like. Let's get a hand clap going while we tidy up after him. Oh, wow, okay, here we go. For the final time, and I do think this is probably a decent place to be watching from, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Swift will park a car! Oh, my God! Yeah, just so we can find me next to Kim. Try to take a seat in there for me. <laughs> She's going to kill you. So, this car's fitted with all the latest safety equipment, obviously, door bars, airbags, and sick bag. Okay? The seat belt fastens like this, adjusts like this. There's um, five exits, four on the side, one at the rear. That's the brace position. You okay? Right, be gentle with her. Don't worry, this is this is nice and slow and gentle and he is an experienced professional. <laughs> and what's more, he needs a rest as well. So ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul Swift will dance with his Ford Focus ST. Can you find all that Nice and smooth. And now that he's lulled her into a full sense of security, let's see the action begin. the constant screeching, or well, I'm sure she'll stop once she gets out of the car. Until the guest stops screaming, he'll keep going. 